Hi everyone! In this video you're going to learn how to make a yarn tassel as well as how to attach it to a crochet or knitting project. Um, I'm going to be using some of my very own hand dyed yarn. You can find this yarn at handmadehomefibers.com if you want to check it out. Um, my very own uh, in-house hand dyed yarn shop. I'm going to be using a book to make my tassel. I like making tassels using books because I have all different sizes of books around the house for different tassels I need for different projects and it's always just something that's around and easy. Um, you can use different materials to make tassels, but this is how I do it. So you're going to unravel some of your yarn. You're also going to need some really sharp scissors around, so make sure you grab those. I'm going to start wrapping my yarn around my book. I like going around the width of the book because it's easier to slide off later. You'll see what I mean in a minute. And just start wrapping it around, holding that tail in place. For this tassel, I'm going to wrap around 75 times. Um, I'm using a fairly lightweight yarn. This is our classic DK, which is a category 3 um, weight yarn so it's fairly thin and I need to wrap a lot to get a nice thick tassel if you're using something like Woolies thick and quick that's really bulky you're not going to need to wrap nearly this many times so kind of use your judgment I'm wrapping 75 times to get a nice plump tassel with a lightweight yarn um, but just kind of wrap until you have what looks like a good chunk of yarn there okay so after you've wrapped around you're going to trim off your yarn from your ball and you're going to slide what is that very tight loop around your book right off of your book but make sure to maintain that loop shape so I like to stick my thumbs right in there as I it comes off of the book so keep that yarn in a loop very delicately place it down and now we're going to grab our scissors and we're going to cut the bottom um, of that snip of length of yarn as well right here just maybe two feet long um, and then grab your loop and we're going to cut the bottom to make this into basically a big thick strip. So just insert your scissors and cut across that yarn. Now you can see why we need sharp scissors because cutting through the bulk of that can be a little tough with dull ones. So now we have a length of yarn, maybe 18 inches to 2 feet. And now we're going to lay our yarn down, maintaining the kind of bunch of strands here. Lay your uh, scrap piece of yarn down vertically, and then we're going to tie a knot. This piece right here is what's going to allow us to tie our tassel onto something. It's going to be kind of the hanging tie off of the top, so tie that tightly. I just double knot it, but um, you can knot it further if you need it to be even more sturdy. Okay, so now we have basically a knot with some tails. We're going to kind of reshape how we're looking at it here to make all the tails come down. So we want that top tie coming out the top, all the tails of the yarn facing down. We cut another length of yarn, again about two feet, and we're going to place that over the length of yarn. Now we're going to just tie it up in a knot. You want to leave about an inch of space between where you're tying your knot here and the top of the tassel so that you get that nice kind of like round ball shape at the top of your tassel. So go ahead and tie a really tight knot here. You want this part to be very sturdy, otherwise strands are going to slip out. So tie a ni nice tight knot, about an inch of space again from the top tie to this second tie. And now I'm just going to take those tails and I'm going to wrap it around partially to secure it and also just to make that tie a little more noticeable and I think that looks nice and finished. Then you can just tuck those tails down under where you wrapped and it'll just blend in with the tails of the tassel. You can use a crochet hook there too if you need help getting the tails through there. Okay so that is nice and secure. Now all we have to do is trim um, the bottom of this to make it nice and even. As you can see they're kind of, even though we wrapped and cut as neatly as we could, they're not even by any stretch of the imagination. So I like to shake it out and then kind of comb it with my fingers. Um, on both sides to make everything lay nice and flat. Again, you're going to need your sharp scissors here. I like to kind of pinch it between two fingers to like really flatten it out, almost like you're straightening your hair. And then just start cutting along the bottom to trim it all down. Just clip off any other areas that look like they're kind of strangely too long. When you have this in front of you and you're doing it yourself, it'll make a little more sense to kind of know where to cut. And that is a finished tassel. So now we're going to attach it to our crochet project. I'm going to be attaching this to the edge of a shawl. 
Um, it's really fairly simple to get a nice secure join at the edge of a shawl. Um, I use the same method when I'm attaching to the edge of a blanket or a pillow or anything like that. Um, there's lots of projects that you can add tassels to, bags, purses, scarves, really anything. Okay, so I have my finished tassel here. I'm going to grab my shawl. I'm going to find the edge that I'm going to attach the tassel to. If you would like to find this shawl pattern, it will get published on my blog, Sorella.com, very soon. It's not out yet, but just hang tight. It'll be out um, hopefully in the next week or so. So here's the edge, the corner where I'm going to attach. I need a yarn needle or a darning needle. I'm going to use one with a fairly large eye just so that I can get both of the strands of this tassel through it fairly easily. So I have a yarn needle here. I'm going to thread those two top ties. I'm actually going to trim them so that they're even because they weren't quite even from where I tied them together. I'm going to thread that on my yarn needle. And then the way that I tie this onto the shawl is actually really sturdy. Um, I haven't had any issues with my tassels coming off and I like nice chunky tassels which can be a little heavy right there on the edge. So I like to come back through the um, edge of the shawl, just that very last stitch there on the corner, and then I go down and through. If you can see there where that top tie is tied around the bunch of yarn. So kind of down through the center of the head of the tassel and I pull that really nice and tight. That is like a really firm anchor. Now I'm going to come back through the back, basically like one row in from the edge of the shawl just to anchor it a little bit more. And I'm going to come back down through that edge stitch. So I'm almost kind of doing a back stitch right there. Okay, so now this is pretty firmly anchored. So I'm just going to weave an end uh, kind of an extra time. I'm going to weave it kind of through the head of the tassel um, just to make sure it's like extra super secure. I'm just kind of weaving in and around the head of the tassel. I'm going to go once more through the actual shawl itself. And my yarn slipped out of my needle here. So I've gone back down through the shawl one more time and then I'm going to pick up a few strands on the head of the tassel. I'm not going to pull it all the way through. I'm going to reinsert my needle through that loop it created and pull it tight to make a knot. So really I'm just tying a knot between the shawl and the tassel itself. Now I'm going to insert my needle and go down and through the head of the tassel and out the bottom. And then that tail is just going to kind of blend in with the tassel itself. I'm going to trim the tails of it to make it nice and even. And now you can't even tell where that end was tied. Shake it out to make it, um, look nice and uniform and now it's attached to the edge and it is so secure it is not going to go anywhere even if your kids pull on it like mine do um so there you have it that's how you make a tassel and how you attach it to a project i hope you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching and subscribe to my channel for more yarn tutorials